Okay. Hi, it's Marek. Hello, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you something that's well, some new features in Photoshop CS6. I know Photoshop CS6 has been out for quite some time. It's been almost a year now. But here's something that we haven't seen a lot. I'm going to show you how you can use shapes and then clip an image to multiple shapes. This is something that's new in Photoshop CS6. So here I've got this image. I'm going to unlock the background layer by just double clicking. Oh, actually, I've, I'll give you a tip as well. I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to hold the Alt key down and I'll double click on the background image to unlock it. And so, this, so the dialog box doesn't come up, so I don't need to give it a name. This is a tip that I'll be talking about later on. Now, I'm going to add some shapes. I've got a custom shape tool here already selected. Okay, and I'm going to use this uh, shape. Now, if you don't have as many shapes as I, as I do here, click on this gear icon at the top right corner. Then you can choose from all different sorts of shapes, or you can just click all. If you're just using a standard set of shapes, and you, when you choose all, you're going to see the message saying whether you want to append them or replace. If you're using standard for uh, shapes, just replace the current set with the new ones, and you get all these shapes in here. So I'm using this shape here. I gave it some fill color, which is not important because we won't see it. And I've got a stroke, which we won't see either. So you can use any color you want. I'm going to create a couple of shapes. Now as I start dragging out, I'm going to hold the shift key down to keep it into a straight shape. So I've got one here, maybe another one here, one bigger one here as well. Maybe another one, just a couple of shapes. Another tip for you is you hold the mouse button down before you release it. If you press and hold space bar, you can uh, hold the space bar down, you can reposition the object. I'm going to put one here. And maybe okay, that will be enough. So I've got now oh by the way, <laughs> in the options bar I had my shape tool set to shape. So what I'm creating are shapes. So I've got five shape layers in Photoshop here in the file layers panel. Okay, so I'm using shape option. Something that's new in Photoshop CS6 is you can now uh, clip an image layer to a group and you can also apply layer effects or layer styles to a group. First I'm going to duplicate the background layer. So I'll just use Ctrl J or Command J to duplicate it. I'm going to drag it to the top. Okay. I'm going to blur this background image just a bit in just a moment. For now, I'm going to group all the shape layers. So I'll select all of them and I'll press Ctrl G or Command G. Or if you prefer using menu, it's layer, group layers. Okay, this will group the layers. This is my group of shapes. Now I'm going to clip the layer on the top to the group. You can either hold the Alt key down or Option key and click in between the layers. Or you can also right click and choose Create Clipping Mask. I'm just going to hide this layer for a moment so you can see what's going on. Now I've got this image clipped to the group, so this image only shows through the group, through the shapes. Okay, these shapes in here, which can easily be repositioned because they're all on their own separate layers. I'm going to keep it for now. First, I'm going to blur the background a bit. I'm going to convert it to a smart object first. So I'll just right click on it and convert it to a smart object. And I'll blur it with the Gaussian Blur filter. Just a few pixels, three pixels is just fine, okay. You may start seeing something going on, like in here, this part of the image is not blurred, and neither is this one here. Now the best part. Now, with the layer group selected, I'm going to add some layer effects to it. For example, Violin and Boss, which will give us a nice interesting effect. So I'll just select Violin and Boss, and here you go. Now you start seeing what's going on here, you start seeing them. It's going to soften it a bit. So it looks more like water ripples. Okay. And this technique that I wanted to show you. That's how you can clip an image to the entire group of layers or group of shapes. So that it only shows through this group of shapes. Like that. You can easily reposition it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.